was actually in the 1960s. I was then uh, A-level uh, student at St. Peter's. Uh, you know, St. Peter's is uh, situated uh, very close to the Kinross Club. It was the Kinross Swimming and Diving Club. And we used to go there to uh, go diving on the reef. Uh, when I say diving, it was snorkeling really. Uh, in tubes, we used to swim out there. Uh, as kids. But we had heard that they were coming over uh, that day uh, and Sir Arthur was going to be there. So as kids we, we were thrilled to go and uh, watch them. So that was my first ever exposure to uh, Sir Arthur. Then we knew we met uh, Mr. Arthur C. Clark. You know, uh, later on I had the opportunity to formally meet him and that was in the late 70s. Actually, in 1978, I had just come back from, uh, from Hawaii, uh, having uh, done my postgraduate work at the East West Centre. I had, by this time, uh, completed a postgraduate degree in Coastal Zone Management. Uh, and when we came back, there was a new programme being started here in Sri Lanka, and that was to establish a Coast Conservation Department. We all went to uh, Sir Arthur's house in Barnes Place and uh, had, a, had about a half a day session with him discussing all these aspects and I was amazed to see how interested he was in all of this. Then he told us about uh, you know, his own operations uh, and, and how he thought how necessary it was uh, for Sri Lanka to have something to protect our coast. So from then, uh, then on, he became part of our team actually, the coast conservation team. We had, uh, we had done some interesting things. Actually, in 1979, after the Act came into being, uh, quite apart from doing a complete coastal resource survey, uh, we also saw one of the biggest problems to be, and Sir Arthur was one who pointed that out to us as well, was coral mining. You know, at the time, in Hikadua uh, and Paralia, Hikadua, where the train, uh, you know, uh, went off uh, during the tsunami, Paralia, and Sinigama, all of those areas, there were about 78 kilns, lime burning kilns, and they were, and it was a thriving business. Uh, many politicians were involved, you know, their kith and kin were involved in this operation at the time. Now, uh, in, in, in this situation, uh, when we were having one of those meetings, I remember meeting uh, a then uh, deputy minister, but he told, uh, threatened us, saying that he will uh, report us to the minister and to others and that he will never allow this to happen. What happened then was that uh, we went back, told Mr. Sumamara Singh, our director at the time, about the incident and he said, let's call Sir Arthur. So we called Sir Arthur and I, we told him about the whole story. And <laughs> he had called uh, the then president, President Jaya Jayavadana, uh, and told him about the incident. And we later learned that uh, he had uh, called the MP and the Deputy Minister and warned him that he should not interfere in all of this. And we were able to successfully destroy 78 kilns of the area. And I give the entire credit for that, uh, you know, operation of ours and, and what, what we were able to save uh, uh, to Sir Arthur. He was the best ambassador we had for tourism and some of the programs that he did you know there, there was a whole series that he did in the 1980s I remember uh, which brought us uh, so much uh, uh, exposure and fame you know because it was Sir Arthur in his sarong at Unavatuna uh, as the backdrop and he was describing uh, the beauty of this land with uh, shots being filled in uh, of the places which he mentioned and he had this uh, enormous uh, uh, I would say passion for Sigiriya you know he used to speak about Sigiriya and Kashyapa and one day I remember walking in and he says Renton do you know something you know they are going to find out they are going to discover making uh, uh, energy you know out of uh, water that is sent through this little pipe, you know, he said the Russian scientists were working on it. It never happened. But, but I think, you know, that's the kind of, you know, thinking that he had. You know, of course, his uh, early uh, discoveries were, I, I think, as well, 
uh, due to, you know with all that imagination because I mean uh, uh, and and everything that he uh, said uh, was uh, this I mean showed us a child's mind so the kids really loved him uh, you know when, whenever they met him because I think he could uh, relate to them well yeah I think we should pass this message across to children children must be uh, told or taught as to how what his dreams were and how these dreams uh, you know uh, help create uh, you know works like uh, like for example the satellite it should be presented as a discovery made by a man who was a dreamer so that children will start dreaming too you know so i think it's through the children that we should and it should be actually his life should be a very integral part of uh, our education system.